Hey guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thanks very much for joining me today. Uh, as you can see, I have a review of another Castle Arts Supply uh, product. Now, this is the the Castle Arts 40-piece drawing set. Um, they sent this to me to review. Uh, this is kind of like a lot of companies have these sketching sets, and they comprise of like some graphite, some charcoal. Uh, a few pastel pencils, normally the pastel pencils will be kind of like a sanguine colour, uh, maybe a grey, a white or something, you know, about three or four different earthy tone colours. Uh, and then they'll have a, maybe a, an eraser or a sharpener in there as well. So, um, this is one of the largest sets that I've seen, uh, with it being a 40 piece set. Uh, prices and what have you will all be over on the Art Gear Guide on the written review. So if you want to know the prices, you can go across there. Uh, there will be links down below where you can just click on the link. It will take you straight over to the written review and you can select whatever link you want. But uh, I just wanted to uh, review this for you, show you what's inside this and show you what you get for your money. I've also done a little bit of an art, uh, artwork with this. Uh, I'm not the best at graphite, uh, especially charcoal and things like that. So the the art that I've done was just a quick draw and just to see, just to show you how dark the graphite can get and the the darkness of the charcoal bits that are in here and what have you. So we'll get into that in a second. So it comes in this wallet. Uh, this is just like a. On the back of it here gives you a little bit of information about what's inside 12 graphite pencils in varying various shades from 5h to 8b so 5h being really like hard and so the graphite is light uh, 8b being really soft can you hear all those birds in the background they're all fighting um four pastel pencils of different shades three charcoal pencils uh soft medium and hard one soft graphite sketching pencil, two paper blending stumps, one paper or sorry, one pencil extender, one dual tipped rubber blender, which I'll show you, sand and block, four charcoal willow sticks, three charcoal sticks, soft, medium, and hard grades, three graphite sticks, soft, medium, and hard, uh, one plastic sharpener, uh, one two hold metal sharpener, uh, a plastic eraser. For pencils and a needed eraser for charcoal that's what they say so let me take this this slide off now one of the, one of the things i really liked about this set was that all the products inside it have all got the castle uh castle arts emblem on top of it so they've gone to great lengths to brand this set and make it their own it's not just like some sketch and set that they've bought um and just put a, a slide on it or anything like that so as you open it up this is what you get now I've used it so the images that you'll see coming up on your screen are as the um, set is opened first brand new uh, one of the really cool things about this and it's going to be hard to show you on the the camera here because I don't have a lot of room but you'll see some images coming up uh, in this while I'm explaining this to you so you've got two sides to this wallet but the um, these flaps lift up now originally I thought that when I seen the velcro I thought all right okay so they lift out but they don't because it's attached down at the bottom here so I thought well, what's the point in that but the point is that you fold this bit here back I don't know if you can see that you fold this bit back put it on the second velcro bit down at the bottom there you'll see it better in the image and then what you have is um, you can pull the pencils out it's kind of just easier rather than it being flat on the wallet it just extends it, it makes it easier to to lift out all your pencils and I thought that was really clever it took me a I'm not the brightest spark so it took me a while to work that one out um, there's a little handle thing here as well so when you close it up, you can use the handle if you're going to be carrying, carrying it around with you. The zip on it as well is quite a sturdy zip. You'll see an image of the zip coming up now. Um, and so 
the contents of this is the, the graphite pencils. Now, I'll talk about the graphite pencils first of all. As you can see here, um, it's kind of like a, a, they're all, they've all got this blue barrel, this two inch long black uh, ending to it. Uh, the grades are on, the grade of the pencil is on the blue bit. I would have, and I'm nitpicking here, I really am nitpicking. I would have preferred the grade of the pencil to be further back on the black. Um, and then it's got the Castle Arts logo here uh, on the blue as well. Now, the pencils feel really cheap in the hand. And I thought, whenever I lifted these out, I thought, okay, so they, they feel light, they feel cheap. So the graphite's going to be bad graphite or something like that. But it, I, was, I couldn't have been fur, further wrong uh, if I tried. The graphite, when I used all these pencils was really smooth there was no scratchiness because sometimes you can get a little bit of grit in the um in certain uh graphite pencils but that wasn't the case with these i will show you in a second uh the you know kind of like a chart of the 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 grades and stuff like that so that's the graphite pencils next is uh we have here are some willow sticks so i'll, I'll show you more about those in a second uh, down at the bottom here, we have these uh, three graphite sticks. And when I first seen these, I thought I thought they just look like uh, three little bits of metal. They're not going to uh, produce much in the way of graphite. But again, I was wrong. Uh, down at the bottom here again, the, you have um, these charcoal sticks. Uh, and again, I'll show you those working uh, on this side. This is kind of like where all your stuff is uh, All the bits and tools and stuff like that. So here there's a, a graphite pencil. It's a woodless graphite pencil um, I Think it would have been nice if maybe this was a water-soluble graphite pencil. There is no water-soluble graphite in here, but you know again, I am nitpicking. I'm just I'm just thinking of ideas and stuff like that these are the three, uh, by the way, all these pencils come unsharpened, so you sharpen them as soon as you get them. Uh, as you can see here with the charcoal pencils, I've used the charcoal pencils in the drawing that I've done. Uh, and obviously the charcoal is a little bit like pastel pencils, so you need to sharpen those. Uh, the charcoal pencils have just got this uh, black barrel. Uh, and then obviously it says here, Castle Arts charcoal and then the whether it's medium soft or hard because there's three of them here uh, so w when you get them they'll come unsharpened as you can see in the image now so there's three pastel pencils here as well so um there's this red brown which is a, a really nice color i'll show you that in a second um, you've got a black here as well, um, a sepia color. These are all kind of like standard colors that you would get in these sketching sets and a gray. Again, there is no white in here and I think a white pencil would have been nice also. Um, now, something that I've not seen in any sketching sets is this, which is a color shaper. And this is such an invaluable tool when you're using things like pastels or charcoal or anything like that. And it's a, it, it's a really nice color shaper. It's a little bit like a blender. You've, these little uh, end bits here are rubber and they help you to push in the, um, the charcoal or the pastel onto the paper. But as well as as well as that, you've obviously got two paper blending. As you can see here, the blending stumps have got the the Castle Art logo on them, which is really nice. Um, and then, for when the pencils are starting to run down, you have a pencil extender. So you've it's uh, double ended. Uh, so one for the say like the the graphite pencils, and then if you've running down on the charcoal pencils, which are a much thicker barrel, and the pastel pencils. Uh, they'll be able to fit into the other end. So, really handy piece of kit there. 
Also, uh, in along here at the bottom, there is a sanding block. I have the sanding block here because I've been using it with the charcoal pencils, but you'll see an image of it coming up on the sh on the screen. Again, it has the castle logo on it when it's brand new. Um, there is like a vinyl eraser here. Uh, works quite well. There's also um, a kneaded eraser. Now, the kneaded eraser um, is a little bit hard. I think uh, it's it's just not very soft at all and I've tried you know working it to you know knead it and stuff like that because sometimes with these uh, kneaded erasers you've got to knead them and uh, make them a little bit softer but it's just really hard I can't really get much with this uh, but it's not a big deal and then there's two sharpeners here as well uh, you've got this plastic one, which I think is really aimed for more the the, the pastel pencils, uh, and then you've got this double-barreled um, kind of metal sharpener for graphite and whatever you, whatever else you want to put in there. Uh, these sharpeners work okay. I mean, like this one here is a little bit hit and miss, but with pastel pencils and charcoal pencils, I use a craft knife in any case, so. Uh, it it just all depends what you what you're used to using, and and that's Coda saying that he used those sharpeners as well for his pencils, but um he didn't get much work done because of his paws. So the artwork that I was telling you about, I just done this eye. Okay, it's just like something really quick and simple, but it just wanted to help me. Um, show you the darknesses that you can get and what have you. Now I did make a mistake because I put a little bit of uh, graphite down and then I put the charcoal on top of the graphite which I believe you're not really meant to do. If you're going to use charcoal you put the charcoal down you don't really put it on top of graphite. I don't know where I heard that but any, nevertheless I did hear that somewhere. Um, so that's the artwork. I do have a speed drawing of this if you're really interested, uh, just so that you can go across and see it. And I will have, I've got a few images of this on the, you know, at various stages of uh, drawing it. This is kind of like the chart that I've done. So all the, the marks along the top here are the graphite pencils. Now, I, what I will say is, the 8B, the 6B, and the 5B, and even the 4B are very, very similar in um, in tone. The, the darknesses of the graphite, that type of thing. Um, but you can start to see a, a gentle decline from 3B all the way down with the 5H. Um, with the H pencils, again, they were really smooth which isn't normally the case. The the H pencils are really difficult. They can be really scratchy and they can also be really difficult to sharpen. But these, I've not had any problems sharpening these, sharpening these either. So the four colors along here are the, the pastel pencils. You can see there the sepia, the red, brown, the gray, and the black. Uh, then this is the, the woodless graphite pencil that I was telling you about, that I showed you. So just let, I'll, I'll actually get the the actual products out so you can see. So this one here is the, the woodless graphite pencil. Uh, these marks here are the graphite sticks. So these little small graphite sticks and you can see here that they actually come out quite quite well. Uh, and you can definitely tell the difference between the soft hard and medium. Down right down at the bottom here are the, the willow sticks. I'm not going to get them out because they are really messy but they are they're really nice for sketching with uh, and um, really nice and dark. Easy to erase as well. Uh, this is the, the charcoal sticks. These ones here, these three here again the soft, medium and hard. Uh, this one here is just the, the charcoal pencil so the, the the charcoal pencil and I just used the soft one for that so you can see how dark that is really nice and dark and that's really about it in the speed drawing you'll see me using all the everything that's in this set the the paper stump blenders the eraser everything uh, but I'm going to show you a little bit of it now I'm going to put some marks down on paper and show you how things work
Okay, so with the likes of the um, the graphite sticks, they give you a lot of um, a lot of scope for if you're covering in uh, like a background area or something like that. You you just rub them along the side here like this, and it's gonna it's gonna create it's gonna give you this a much easier way of covering in the graphite. Of course, you can break them as well. If you use the ends of them, you get a much darker and then after that you can of course use your paper stump and blend it in. I'm just using some Clairefontaine the, the paint on mixed media paper so there's a little bit of tooth on this paper but you can see there that the graphite is really nice in terms of blending blends really nice really well um, the charcoal sticks obviously much much darker but they're really really nice and again um, just as with the the graphite sticks you just put the whole thing down and you can um, cover larger areas with it or just use the ends of it to co co uh, cover in uh, bigger areas. And again, you know, with your paper stump, you can just blend things in. Or with this uh, blender, I mean, people call this different things, color shaper, uh, rubber blender. I'm not 100% sure what, it, what the exact name is, but they get called many different things. Uh, but what you can what you see here is it's just for the likes of charcoal and pastel it helps you push the the pigment into the paper without damaging the tooth of the paper too much um, and so then you can keep on adding layers with it or with with any of the other things that you have uh, one of the first people that uh, people artists I seen using these uh, Color shapers was Colin Bradley, who is a pastel artist. Uh, the the woodless graphite stick, uh, really really nice. As again, you, you can get really nice graphite from that. So you've got a really nice point there. for detailed area or coloring in uh, larger areas. The pastel pencils, like I said to you, um, they're obviously not the highest quality pastel pencils, but they do the job and the, the color on them is really nice. You can hear they're, they're quite dry, quite hard, but they're more like uh, chalky and that you know a lot of pastel pencils are like that not all pastel pencils are really soft they always tend to be harder than pastel sticks uh, this is the the sepia uh, and then the gray and I obviously have the black one there but the black one's just the same so you can see here this is like a, a, a cold gray a blue gray Uh, and like I say, I would have I would have liked to have seen a white in this set, uh, a white pastel pencil or something, or charcoal, whatever, uh, just to help add the the contrast on bits that you're going to be doing with this. So in terms of the the graphite pencil, so I've got the eight B here, and um, you can see they're really nice and soft. There's no grittiness. There's no um, scratching on the paper or anything like that now it, it it's not the darkest graphite i know with certain other uh sets of graphite pencils when you're getting up to the eight and stuff like that it's really really super dark not all of them are like that um but some of them are this i wouldn't say that this is really super dark but you can tell it's 
the in the B range, and this is the the five eight. So that's this is the opposite side of the scale. Um, and again, it's obviously a much much harder core. But again, there's no scratchiness or anything like that from it. Um, which you can, you know, you you can find in a lot of H-graded uh, pencils. Uh, the willow sticks, which I will get out here for you on this test, but these are really messy, super messy. Um, so they come in this little bag, but these willow sticks are excellent for uh, doing like really loose sketching, that type of thing. You can break them up and um, you can see there, they're really super soft, but they they create the most beautiful marks you can You can really draw or cover in areas with them as well. But really, really nice. Code is sticking his nose in here to see if he can do some art. He's really getting into the art lately. There he's off now. He's in a huff because um, I wouldn't let him use the willow sticks. Um, now, <coughs> the eraser that's in here, this final eraser is a decent enough little eraser. You can see here, um, it does the job. With the um, with the the needed eraser, it's not. I know. Lie down, good boy. I know. Vicky's gone back to work today, so he's really missing her as well. So anyway, um, the needed eraser, you know, it, it does work, um, but it's just super hard. I know some, some needed erasers are like this, they're really quite hard, at, um, but for me, I prefer the softer needed erasers. I'm, I'm not really into fight, oi, oi, I'm not really into fighting with my erasers, um, before using them. Uh, so I probably won't I probably won't really use that eraser. I didn't use it in the speed drawing either when I needed to erase things. But this little vinyl eraser is perfect. Nothing really wrong with that at all. Now as far as the um, as the sharpness, as far as the sharpness are concerned, I think this plastic one is aimed for the pastel pencil. So I've got a pastel pencil here, but I, I personally wouldn't use ordinarily sharpeners for, for pastel pencils. I mean, like that isn't working great in any case. Let me. S so this one's here is is a little bit sharp. Um, For pencils like this, my advice is to use uh, a craft knife or something like that. These sharp sharpeners, and it's not really necessarily this particular sharpener, but just sharpeners in general. These types of sharpeners in general don't really hold up well for pastel pencils. This uh, this little metal one is perfect. When I was using it earlier on, no problems at all with this. Oi! Nobody wants to hear you. Uh, but you can see there, it gets at the point and uh, works well enough. So, that's it for my review of the Castle Art uh, 40, 40 piece sketching set or drawing set as they call it. Um, for the price that this goes at, I think it's well worth the money. Like I said, there are a few little nitpicky things that I would like to have seen, like 
they graded the pencil rather than it being on the blue side of the barrel on the black closer to the top uh, and that's just purely because when you're sharpening the pencil if the grade of the pencil is at the back of the uh, further up the pencil the longer that grade is going to stay on the barrel when you're sharpening it so so that you don't sharpen it away completely uh, but like I said that's nitpicking I would like to have seen a white pastel pencil or charcoal pencil in the set also um, and I think really that's about it other than that everything else uh, the kneaded eraser as well I would like to have seen maybe a softer kneaded eraser but, but other than that the, um, the graphite that they've used in the, the pencils is really nice and soft I don't know where they've got the graphite from or anything like that but they've sourced it well uh, the charcoal pencils really nice also the sticks as well you can you see me uh, using the sticks there and the, the colors that they've put in here for the pastels as well uh, are I think they're perfect the sepia the red brown and the, the blue it just gives a little bit of contrast to any graphite work that you want to do but that's where the white pencil would come in handy as well um, and then the other little tools that they've put in there the color shaper fantastic little tool for pastel and charcoal the willow sticks as well the uh, sharpeners and the vinyl eraser and then the the pencil extender also and the two uh, blending stumps it's a really, really nice all-in-one all package. Um, and I, I, I've i loved using it. Uh, I will try to do something else with it, but I've got so much on at the minute. I'm trying to get as many reviews done as I possibly can. Um, my, my dad is still going through his chemo, and he's taking a bit of a turn for the worst. So um, I, I've got that going on as well. But I have so many things coming out now. Uh, so many reviews I want to try and get done so I'm trying to get all of that done and out to you guys as quickly as possible anyway guys thank you so much for watching this uh, I look forward to seeing you all again next time don't forget if you like the video give it a like um, if you want to subscribe that's great also uh, you can also f uh, follow me on Instagram Facebook and Twitter they're the three best places to follow me if you want to know what's going on and updates that I'm doing that type of thing and now that things are getting back to normal as well, uh, I'll hopefully try and slip in a few more um, live streams. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Look forward to seeing you all again next time. Bye.